Today we're going to be looking at the RPG-7 and the anti-tank grenade to see if they're worth using with our engineer class. When I first learned that the RPG was coming to the main game I was excited. I had mentioned in my engineer guide that I think we needed more launcher options and while I'm still sad we didn't also get the s roll I was happy with this announcement. My excitement quickly turned to concern after a commenter pointed out that during the season 5 capture events which some of the bigger YouTubers did, they noticed that the RPG only came with two rockets. This made me worried that it would not be able to compete with the M5 and would just be immediately shelved as something released and quickly forgotten. My concern was that there was no way two rounds would be enough to do significant amounts of damage to make this weapon worth it. Once Season 5 came out the first thing I did was rush to unlock it which involves getting 30 kills with the M5 or the RPG in Paul. The RPG is a dumb fire rocket which comes with two rounds. Thankfully, DICE made it so you can carry three rounds. So if you're using this weapon, just like the M5, you're going to want to find an ammo crate or an angel loadout crate as soon as possible so that you're fully prepared to fight vehicles. If we look at the damage numbers for the RPG and compare them to the M5, you can see that the RPG does more damage in all cases. Thankfully, the increase in damage is enough to offset the lack of an additional rocket that the M5 provides. Considering that dealing with vehicles is typically a task for a team, I believe that taking the RPG over the M5 is absolutely worth it, since if you can only get one rocket off before your target retreats or you die, it gives your team a little bit more of an opening to help finish it off. If you have three RPG rockets and you're hitting the top, side or rear of a main battle tank and they do not repair, then you will be able to solo them. As with the M5, it's important that you avoid hitting the front armour as much as possible. The downside of taking the RPG is that you obviously have one fewer rocket to work with, so missing your shots with this launcher hurts really bad. Since the RPG doesn't come with a rangefinder scope a lot like the M5 does, missing your shots is going to happen a lot if you're not used to the drop on these rockets. The RPG gets a little piddly notch for which to find your target. One major difference between the rocket launchers, and something which might take a while to get used to, is the increased rocket drop which the RPG has. In comparing the M5 and the RPG, we can see that the M5's rockets do not drop as much mid-flight as the RPG's. This will make RPG shots at longer ranges more difficult. For this reason, I think the RPG is a higher skilled weapon to use than the M5 and the benefit that it brings is worth the increased entry point. I was also surprised to discover that the RPG actually has greater splash damage than the M5. I was expecting the RPG to be a more penetrating and less explosive rocket launcher, but in fact it excels in both compared to the M5. I would strongly recommend swapping into the RPG as soon as you unlock it, putting time into getting better with it so that you can help squash enemy armour. There are two last things about the RPG that I just wanted to add at the end since I'm convinced that these are bugs and will be resolved in a future patch. Just like the M5, this weapon can lock onto vehicles tagged by a soft lamb, tracer dart or row hack targets. Currently, you can lock onto tagged vehicles without line of sight and I do not believe that this is intended. The javelin can't even lock onto tagged vehicles without line of sight, and locking on is the javelin's whole shtick. Additionally, in its current state, the RPG seems to be doing the same damage as the M5 when using its lock-on feature. I believe that this is an oversight on DICE's part, and it should be doing its regular damage. So currently, if you can fire and hit a vehicle with your RPG without locking on, then you should, in order to get the most damage out. Obviously against attack choppers, nightbirds, stealth choppers and jets, the M5 kills them in one, so feel encouraged to lock onto those targets and shoot when you're able. In the same update they decided to add anti-tank grenades and give us engineers even more to play with. This grenade should be thrown at vehicles and upon contact with the armour it should immediately explode, dealing pretty decent damage. However, since release it's had this horrible issue with sometimes straight up bouncing off enemy armour. When this happens it is infuriating, since the grenade is not supposed to work like this. DICE has announced plans to fix this 
but it definitely affected my early opinion of it. Those who have seen my previous videos know that I am a hopelessly addicted smoker, so leaving behind my darling smoke grenades was and still is very hard. But I loaded up my engineer with them and began throwing them like I was Tom Brady. When you spawn with the AT grenades you only get one and they can be replenished by ammo crates and angel loadout crates. They deal pretty decent damage and since they can be deployed quickly they are the perfect tool for getting the last hit against enemy vehicles. For this reason it's hard to not compare these with AP underbarrel grenade launchers which I hope you are all equipping on your engineers as I frequently use the underbarrel as my finisher. Having this additional grenade which I could whip out quickly led to a slightly faster kill time. You can get the job done without the anti-tank grenade equipped, so if you are into another grenade, not taking this isn't going to hurt you too much, but if you plan on maximising your damage output in a short burst, firing an RPG, an underbarrel grenade and following that up with an AT grenade for the sick 3 hit wombo combo, you can deal massive damage to any vehicle. Overall I think these are both great additions to the engineer's arsenal. I've been on the giving and receiving end of both and they're very effective tools. My current loadout is the RPG-7 with any of the four underbarrel AP grenade launcher weapons and the AT grenade, which I'll sometimes swap out with the smoke if I'm feeling that itch coming back. Try these out on the battlefield and let me know how you find them in the comments. And as always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Hope you have a nice day. See you on the battlefield.